Hi there. In this short video, I'm going to be illustrating a Chinese mini lathe retrofitted for gear cutting, or more accurately, gear broaching. The drive behind this project is ultimately to cut internal gears, but as I show in this video, it can also cut external gears without problem. With this retrofit, three NEMA 17 stepper motors are used, one to move the saddle, another the cross slide, and a third for a chuck indexer. So the basic cycle is, move the cross slide forward by a predefined increment. I'm using an increment of approximately 25 microns here, which seems to work well for the low carbon steel that I'm using. Then we move the saddle to the left for the cutting stroke. We then move the saddle to the right, compensating for backlash, before moving the saddle left to the home position to remove the backlash. We then move the cross slide forward to the next increment. We repeat the cycle until the tooth depth is reached, about 40 iterations for the 0.5 module gear being cut here. When the tooth depth is finally reached, we back the cross slide out beyond the home position, then forward the cross slide to the home position, again for backlash compensation. We then rotate the chuck indexer to the position of the next tooth. The cycle is repeated until all of the teeth are cut. A quick word on the stepper motors. The saddle stepper motor comes with an attached planetary gearbox. This is required as it's the saddle movement that does the actual cutting, so a fair amount of force is required. The other two steppers are cheap 12 volt steppers that I got from eBay for about 12 euros each. The output of each stepper motor drives a 9mm high torque drive tooth belt. I use metal gears for the saddle drive due to the forces involved. All the other gears are 3D printed using PETG plastic. So far, they seem to be holding up rather well. As for the electronics, there's not much to it. It's just an Arduino Mega and the three stepper drivers. I 3D printed the enclosure and used an old 12 volt switch mode power supply that I had laying around. The saddle and cross slide steppers are fully stepped hence the use of the 2L298 stepper drivers. By contrast, the chuck indexer stepper is driven by a Texas Instruments DRV8825 stepper driver. This was done to take advantage of micro-stepping for increased resolution of the chuck indexer. I used 1 8 micro-stepping here, which seems like a good compromise given the loss of torque inherent in micro-stepping. The chuck indexer also has a large reduction with a belt tensioner to remove any backlash in the belt. This serves to add rigidity to the chuck indexer, preventing any rotational movement of the chuck during gear cutting. The cutter being used is a single gear cutter cut from a run-of-the-mill HSS involute gear cutter costing about 20 euros. The principal advantage of these cutters is that the tooth profile is already there, so it's only really necessary to mount it in a tool holder. I machine the tool holder here out of mild steel on the mill. For very small gears like the one being shown, it's critical that the cutter height is correct in the tool post. The material being used for the gear being shown is S300 PB low carbon steel. I've also used 6082 T aluminium and 303 stainless steel without any problems. A final word about these small lathes. They're not particularly rigid, so you should try and remove as much sideways movement from all of the slides. In fact, it would probably be a good idea to introduce a locking mechanism for the compound slide. That said, the resulting gears seem fine and mesh very well with commercially produced 0.5 module gears that I have. So thanks for watching and good luck if you want to try this retrofit.